Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about some basic turtle care needs and basically what you need to feed them and cage cleaning and other tips that I have. So the turtle that I'm holding right now is named Mario and he is about three and a half months old. This next turtle's name that I'm holding is named Luigi and he is also three and a half months old. So I have two turtles named Mario and Luigi. The first thing I want to talk about today is the size of the tank. So right now I have a 10 gallon tank and this is just because they're still babies and they need they do not need a bigger tank when they are still little. When they get older, I would recommend a 30 gallon tank for one turtle. The next thing I want to talk about is keeping your cage clean and maintaining it. So this is the filter that I use and I have a picture of the box if you would like to buy one of these for yourself. And it is called the internal power filter. And it's for 10 to 30 gallons so it's perfect if you want to buy a 30 gallon tank. And this filter is definitely not a loud filter at all and I never mind it when I'm in my room. So I would definitely recommend this filter if you would like to buy a turtle anytime soon. I usually clean my cage at least once a month and it stays pretty clean in those weeks. And a thing about I'd like to go over about when you clean their cage is you do not have to use distilled water. I have some right here just in case I want to like play with them in a separate container. But I use this when I clean their aquariums because this is non-dechlorinator and you put it in the water every time you clean their cage. It is pretty expensive, but it lasts quite a while. So like once a month. So one, two, three, just a whole bunch of months this will last you whenever you clean your cage. And I definitely recommend this because it keeps the turtles happy and they don't have to deal with any chlorine in their tank. But before we move on from this, I would definitely like to say this right now, that if you have fish in your turtle aquarium, definitely do not use this because it, this is not safe for fish. So that is one thing that I would like to note. I don't know if you can see it in the back, but that is the heater that I use for my turtles. And here is what the box looks like. I still have it. It is called Submersible Heater and it works for 10 to 30 gallons. And turtles really like to be warm, so this would definitely be a thing that you would need to get if you are interested in purchasing turtles. For my decorations, I just have some simple pebbles at the bottom, and I do have a little um, fake plant here, and I have a little vine here, and they really like decorations. And this right here is my basking platform that they use, and they seem to really enjoy this. And maybe for the video, they will go up there and bask so you can see what they do. So I just got some footage of them basking under their source of light, which is in this case the heat lamp. And up here is my heating lamp. I use this daylight bulb. It is 75 watts and you can also switch it out with this. It is a basking bulb too and it's 60 watts. So you can get both of these ones at Walmart. Right now this one is sitting out and this one, um, this one is the 60 watts and the, oh, I have 75 watts in right now. You should definitely switch them out quite frequently though, just because so they can have a variety. Next I want to talk about their diet. So their main diet that I feed them is called Reptomen Floating Food Sticks and these are for baby turtles. So if when you get older turtles, make sure to get an adult turtle food. So this is very healthy for them and this can be an entire diet for your baby turtle so you don't need to feed them any more than this. On occasion, I will feed them hermit crab food, and this is just little shrimps. And here's what they look like. They are just tiny pieces of shrimp, and they seem to really enjoy these as treats. You can feed them to them, a couple of them when you're feeding them on a normal day. So from learning from my own experience, I definitely turn off my filter every time I feed them, because if you don't do that, the food will most likely get sucked up into the filter when you are trying to feed them, so make sure to shut your filter off. So I'm gonna try to get some video of them eating.
Turtles are actually pretty easy to work with and if you play with them quite frequently they should become pretty tame because I play with mine quite a bit and they are really tame when I hold them. So I definitely recommend playing with them a lot just when they're babies so when they get older they'll be friendly. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel and please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!